today we are painting in Malibu. beaches, lots of parking, and it's Memorial Day weekend and it's not even really crowded. So I'm going to a state park called El Matador. All right, so the parking lot's full, so I had to park on the street outside, but at least I didn't have to pay. Uh, as you can see, I've got my usual setup here. All right, well, this is definitely a beautiful spot, beautiful beach, lots to paint down there, but it is pretty crowded. Uh, doesn't look like there's a lot of sand area uh, tide must be in uh, so I'm just gonna look around but let me show you what it looks like All right, so it was a bit too crowded down there for me. Also, the tide was coming in, so I think a lot of people are gonna actually get stuck down there. So I decided to come and look for a spot up on the cliffs that's uh, maybe a little more private. And so let me show you what I got. All right, so I'm gonna paint some rocks and with their shadows and some of the glare in the water. And uh, I'm gonna kinda have to move stuff around as usual. Uh, but I've got sort of a comfortable setup here, so I'm just gonna get started. I'll probably mostly be using this uh, Tuscan Series Flat number 10 Utrecht. Uh, I've got my uh, liquid medium, my brush cleaner with Gamsol in it, and then the usual colors, which are Cerulean Hue, Ultramarine Blue. Have some Dioxazine Purple here too. I've been using that a lot lately. There's some um, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red Light, uh, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, uh, this is uh, Cad Yellow Light, Titanium White, and then Cad Yellow Lemon. Also have a little, I can't see it very well, but that's um, Naples Yellow Light. And I've got a big tube of white over here and a little extra uh, ultramarine because I go through so much of this. And my viewfinder. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting with burnt sienna and I just got the, the shapes in place and now I'm kind of refining them a little bit. Uh, obviously, we've got rocks. This is all in shadow. Then there's a cast shadow here of this rock. Obviously, this rock's in shadow. So uh, it's kind of a backlit scene.
Uh, my goal here today is just, you know, strong pattern of light and shadow and uh, just some interesting shapes with the rocks. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Again, I want to keep the shadows as light as possible, but still have them read in shadow. So I want color in, uh, you know, in the shadow side of the rocks. Um, so let me show you what I got. All right, so there's what I've got so far and uh, haven't really done much with the foreground, but you know, this area is more or less, you know, kind of roughed in. So I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I've been to beaches obviously where people take a lot of pictures, you know, models and that sort of thing, but this place has them all be. There was like non-stop photo sessions going on today. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting, but beautiful spot. And um, so yeah, let me show you what I finished up with. All right, so as you can see, there's these cliffs in the foreground. I wanted to make them come forward. So they're a little more saturated. And then I lightened the value on this rock here. I should have lightened the, the value on that rock as well. I'm noticing now it's a little bit too dark, but what I was trying to do was get some separation and some distance on those rocks. Trying to put in some juicy paint there and not be too careful about it. I really enjoyed this spot. Uh, it's sort of a nice secluded area here, especially on a crowded day. I think I had like one, no, I had two people come by and say hello. Uh, and I've been here for probably three hours, so pretty secluded. Um, I will definitely come back here. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little Malibu adventure. Many more to come, I'm sure. Uh, so anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.